the three masts. It turned out way, way, way taller than I thought it would be. It's a little wobbly right now because I haven't fastened everything yet, but it's starting to look like a sail ship. Penciling in some numbers on the paper didn't seem like such big numbers, but when things added up, this is really, really tall. So to start this, I think these masts are going to be really heavy. In addition to its own weight, it's going to have sails. So I need a way to secure these masts firmly onto the ship so they are going to go deeper into the floors. I put three holes into the floors. There are at least two floors holding these masts. That should even out the load. So we are going to avoid a situation where a mast will just collapse on its own and get separated from the ship. If a mast goes down, it's going to take the ship with it. They are not going to get undone accidentally. with four. It just looked pretty good. So I cut out four sections, each shorter than the one below, and times three, because there are three masts, so I need 12 parts. This is the thickest wooden dowel I can find at the craft aisle, so this is how thick the mast will be. Next, we need to make those fasteners. Basically, it has two holes for each section of the mast to go through. And connecting the two parts of the mast. I will need two per mast, so I need to make six of these. They look small, but it took me forever to make these. Shaving those holes just big enough that wooden dowels will fit inside just perfectly. Not too big, not too small. It turned out to be a tall order. Surprisingly, they fit very well. To my surprise, these dowels are not of exactly the same width. Some are slightly, just slightly thicker or thinner than others. So a fastener that fit in perfectly for one group of dowels will not fit in others. So, or it just feels a little too small. But it fits perfectly for other sets. So I'm trying to find a combination that will work for all dowels.
and I glued the last sections of the mast. Next step is to make the bird's nest or I think that's what they are called. About the midway up on the mast, there are these tiny planks of wood where someone can stand on. I'm guessing people use these bird's nests like a lookout tower to see far ahead. Or maybe they could have been used to set up these massive sails. Kind of like a midway to put all your sails and rest or something. I need to make three of these, one for each mast. And then I made a chassis that will hold the bird's nest and secure it to the mast. Three horizontal bars and two vertical bars, with two openings for each section of the mast to pass through. some of these parts. With the mast fasteners, the rails and the bird's nest, and a half dozen wood sticks. Those wood sticks will be used to lay the floors of the bird's nest and also the handrails. I'm using gel wood stain. At first I was a little upset that the color is a lot darker than what was shown on the can. But you know I kind of like it now. It's good for coloring these accent pieces. And also, gel stains, unlike regular stains, act more like paint. It doesn't seep into the wood, it just kind of dries on the surface. Which I think is pretty good for surface with glue. Wood stain will not seep into glue, but as long as it stays on top, the colors will be pretty similar both on wood or the glued surface. Which is what I want. to prevent someone from slipping and falling down. I'm just guessing. And then I glued handrails. Originally, I just glued these rails, but they weren't strong enough, so I made the tiny holes and inserted these rails into the holes, making them much more secure. I didn't realize I attached these rails on the wrong place for one bird's nest, which I didn't even notice until the very end. Another smaller bird's nest on top. It's not like a real bird's nest, 
It's just a small area, just big enough for someone to put a foot on. I'm guessing these platforms are used solely for installing the sails. People probably didn't go up here all that often unless like one time they had to go up to get the sails installed. Now I need something that will hold that top bird's nest or whatever that little platform is called. So to make the circular ring structure, I'm going to attach these wood sticks side by side on a strip of paper, but glue on the bottom side only so I can bend this strip around the mast. And again, make three of these for three masts. I'm painting the top and bottom side of the strip with wood stain. That was for the top platforms. But what about the lower bird's nest? That will need a place to stand on too, right? So I put these tiny blocks of wood to hold the bird's nest. Okay, so all of those were for the mast. Now we need the horizontal bars that will hold the sails. I think these bars are called the yard. So I need four yards for two masts and three yards for one mast. The bottom yards will be thicker than the top yards. The bottom yard is longer than the top yard too. In total, I need to cut 11 yards. And then these longer yards have supporting bars on each end. You'll see what I mean shortly. I need two of these for each of these longer yards and there are four of these long yards so I need to cut eight of these supporting bars. These longer yards have supporting bars on each end. To attach those, I used metal wires to secure them. I need some gaps in between these bars and the yard because the ropes that hold the sails will pass through this space. It will become more clear, I guess, when I install the sails. And then I tied these strings near the center of the yard. They are going to be used to hang the yard to the mast. Oh, remember these strips of wood sticks? I stained them and then I left them to dry overnight. It's time to glue those to the mast. Before we glue these things to the mast, I need to make holes on each side, three on each side. I think ropes need to go through these holes eventually. where the yards need to hang. It gives a little knot for the ropes to cling to.
Ashley, let's hang those yards to the mast. Time to put together everything we made so far. It feels like I did more than what appears on the screen, but making these parts felt like forever. So now the biggest structural issue is the bowsprit in the front and driving sails on the back, and then figure out the ropes. It's so complicated, I'm going to need some time to figure out how and where these ropes go not to mention I need to make like a few dozens of dead eyes it's going to be a lot of work but at least now it's starting to look like a sail ship and not a barge wobbly but that's to be expected see you in the next video